Hello there, I'm Walking Walter. Today, back with a little bit of Hoi 4. Uh, with perhaps the most famous and most extensive mod out there, Kaiserreich. So, this mod asks, what if Germany won World War 1? So, a lot happens in this mod that's very unlikely. Uh, <coughs> American Civil War. <coughs> oh, I'm an empire still being a thing. Oh jeez, that was a quite the bad cough. I should probably get that checked out. But yeah, so this lad took three years out of his life and decided to spend it analysing and researching what he thought the most likely scenario was in the event of a Second World Creek or Second World War. So I read his 126 page document and to my girlfriend who I turned down walking her dog with, I was doing work stuff. But anyway, he has a few hot takes, namely with nationalist France and Russia, but overall I think it's quite good. So I'll leave a link to his Reddit post, I do recommend people check it out, uh, but I will try and emulate his timeline as much as possible, which I can't completely do, especially when it comes to the actual war, but sure look, I will push the game in the correct direction as much as I can for the sake of it. So I'll be playing as a commune of France since, spoiler alert, they're supposed to lose in said scenario and just because they're a lot of fun to play as really. Okay so we have basically just completely skipped all of the interwar years because uh, nothing really happens uh, but I'm going to give a brief rundown of some of the more important things all right. So in this timeline Goring's in charge of German Africa but following his invasion of Portugal and his mishandling of things in Africa, our drug riddle flyboy was recalled to Berlin and was promptly shot. Which, honestly, best part of this timeline. Uh, there's been a number of revolutions that we've helped support. We've helped support the National Revolutionary Government in China. We're in the middle of supporting a revolution in Argentina. We supported a revolution in Spain. We're sending guns to India. There was a small rebellion in America, uh, so only the CSA uh, broke free. Um, we've been sending guns to uh, Central America to help support the socialists in Central America. And as per usual, Armenia isn't having a good time, being invaded on both sides by the Ottoman Empire and the and Azerbaijan. Turkey, uh, you clearly haven't learned from last time. Don't tell me it wasn't a war crime. Where are the, all those Armenians going? And you kind of, it makes you wonder why everybody hates the socialists so much in this world. It's, it's only, there's only a tiny chance that there's going to be a revolution and, you know, kill everybody. Like, when has that ever been a problem? Well, here we go, the war's about to begin, so let's hope uh, this doesn't go terribly and we don't lose millions and millions and millions and millions of men again. <sighs> let's hope that uh, socialist Benito Mussolini uh, does better than fascist Benito Mussolini. Okay, we're slowly being driven back, but the AI has managed to do a successful naval invasion in Antwerp. Another invasion of Iron, Pog. <laughs> We've been driven out of nonce, that's really not good, god damn it. The bastards are trying to take Verdun again. You shall not pass! Come on, come on, if we break them here, we have them trapped in Dunkirk and they will not be getting out. Okay, Italy's joined, bugger. <laughs> we have another encirclement in Belgium. Nice one, winning. Okay, um, so now we are at war with the Entente, so that means that we have Portugal. To worry about as well as naval invasions. Great. Well, it only took the AI three months to put down Ireland, even though it should have taken like a week. So as I feared, Italy's being absolutely useless, so I'm gonna have to take back my 24 divisions that I was lending to them and uh, use it to actually defend uh, the bo my border because they're gonna, the the Austrians and the Italians are gonna be right on my southern borders very soon. All right, get on the border. Yep. Uh, okay, Spain. Okay, get on the border, please. Oh, for God's sake. 
Jesus Christ, I hate the fucking AI. Okay, we're holding them off in Iberia. That's that's good news. That's a bit of good news. The bastards are invading Bordeaux, so I can't wait to kill them all. That's going to be fun. Now with that naval invasion sorted, uh, we are also holding off a huge army uh, from invading us from I uh, Italy. Uh, just ignore the Alpine fortification line that I have built. I, I had full confidence in Italy winning. I just had a backup plan in case they didn't. Oh, oh, please stop. Stop it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yes. Just as I planned, more encirclements in Belgium. Oh, another battleship. <laughs> oh, I think I just came. Stop. My penis can only get so erect. Uh-oh, simple art. I love the way we're basically recreating uh, World War One with just stalemates on every single front. Great, we're also fighting in the frozen wasteland of northern Norway. Britain can deal with that one. Ah, oh, well then the second's dead. Shame we weren't able to get to him first, unfortunately. Well, the Belgians are here with their most dangerous weapon yet. A bicycle. Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, motherfuckers. Another royal wedding, because they always turn out fantastically. Harry and Meghan. Who is your favourite Harry Potter character? Hagrid. Hagrid. Not correct. Okay, I wonder how many Germans we've killed. Oh my god, we've killed four million of them. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, time to crush that pocket. Come on, crush them, kill them all. Come on. Actually, I think, yeah, I think there's about 50 divisions in there. Fucking poggers. Okay, so we've got them in Wilmshaven. This is what the Germans weren't able to do in the scenario. Okay, uh, we stretched them fully. Oh, and there we go. Japan's gone to war with Germany. Oh, God. God, Austria is losing 1,000 men every single hour. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, the Austrians are launching a massive counterattack. They're pushing me back near Strasbourg, in the bulge. Every time, literally every time I look at that bulge, it gets significantly worse. Hopefully my tanks can uh, will arrive soon and we'll be able to push them back out, but Jesus Christ. We're so close to winning, too. Right, we stabilized the south, so now we're going to uh, launch a mad dash for Berlin. Okay, we're on the move. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Okay, get get to the front. Oh, Jesus, that's cinematic. It's fuck with all the planes flying overhead. Okay, let's see. Okay, so there's only one, there's one militia boy there. Let's go. Let's break it. Let's break it. Let's break it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Break it, Berlin. Yes. Come on, boys! Yes! The Reichspakt's gone, so they're either going to be joining the Entente or they're going to be joining the Austrians. All the German army divisions are gone, so they should cap soon, and I'll be able to kill all the Austrians that are still in Germany. And there we go, Germany's after capitulating, and I get all their stuff, plus all the Austrian troops that are stuck in Germany now. Well, this doesn't look sickening at all. Oh, and the Irish joined the Third International. Oh, it's your boy, Big Jim Larkin. Whee! <laughs> oh, well, there's another encirclement in uh, Prague. So, uh, this, yeah, the, the Austrians really shouldn't take too long to beat, at least. Well, the time has come to finally push into Italy and liberate them once and for all. Again, this time, uh, Zhukov will be leading the charge. Right, so uh, we just took Vienna, so we're going to, uh, I'm going to try and victory point snipe um, the Austrians and hopefully knock them out of the war uh, really quickly. <laughs> Fuck yes, we did it. Thank God. <laughs> Getting really tired of this game. Oh, for the love of Christ, what the hell is the AI doing? Why is there so many divisions in the middle of the goddamn ocean? Just use them for something else, please. Oh, Jesus. A bunch of submarines were able to take out four battleships. Fair play to you, lads. Ah, for God's sake. I was so close to being finished. 
Oh, I can't keep doing it. Okay, here's the plan. We do what I do with my girlfriend. If I don't reply, then they might leave me alone. It's never failed me before. It's a trick. Send no reply. Send no transmissions of any kind. And I just made my landing in Canada and everything. Like, it was, things were really starting to look up. We were nearly done. Oh god, that's a lot of damage. Oh, we got them again. Yes! <laughs> Sink them. Sink them all. Oh, we caught them again. You see, there's nothing better than watching the Enry fleet get absolutely annihilated because you've got you've you've actually researched uh, your doctrines and have better guns than them, even though they have a proper fleet. Yeah, that's right. Run away, run away, you scared little bastards! Oh, and we got a portion of the remnants of the Germans' high sea fleet, and they're suffering a lot of damage. Oh, nice! We they lost two battleships to two destroyers. Totally worth it. Well, I'm not showing it because I was dead inside, but we beat America, so America's socialist. Right, I'm done. I cannot keep doing this. It's 1946 and the game is running so much longer than it should be. The Entente will lose, it's only a matter of time because I've more or less destroyed all of their navies and we massively outnumbered them in every sense of the word. But I'm not invading Africa, the legation cities, India, Indonesia, and Australia to win this war. Honestly, I don't know who needs to be put on suicide watch more, me or the computer, because I look at Africa and I lose all of my will to live, and I can only imagine how bad the computer's feeling. But yeah, the world is now a socialist paradise, and we all live happily together, and we've destroyed capitalism, and we've murdered all the capitalists, and all that good stuff, Ignoring Russia and all the other parts of the world that aren't socialist, but the revolution will come But not in this game because again No, I am not doing it. So yeah So yeah, like always please like subscribe comment and all that good stuff and I'll see you in the next one